Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little different than the past couple of ones that I've been putting out. Uh, this has nothing to do with makeup, it has nothing to do with beauty, technically. Um, it is a fitness video. So just a disclaimer, um, I am not a dietitian, I'm not a personal trainer, I have no fitness background, anything like that. So everything that I'm about to tell you, these are just... Um, observations that I've made having to do with myself and um, based on research that I've done and what has worked for your girl okay so if you're interested in learning these five tips to starting out alright so I did write these tips on my phone here right in my notes so if you see me looking on over here that's what we're looking at so tip number one to starting out is setting a goal so by setting a goal I mean thinking like what are you working towards for me personally I have always kind of dealt with weight fluctuation I was a bigger kid and then I got into basketball and volleyball and then I got a little leaner and then I was dealing with some medical stuff and I gained weight again and then I went off to college and I got really fit and then I moved back home and I gained a bunch of weight again and here I am so um, losing weight gaining weight is nothing new to me um, it really just depends on your body so my personal goal I wanted to lose 30 40 pounds um, weight fluctuation I have nothing to hide I'm very vocal very honest about my weight loss and my numbers and everything um, especially on my Instagram if you don't follow cake up cause go ahead and take a look at that I have a lot of fitness stuff on there too it's not just makeup and beauty and stuff like that um, so number one set a goal figure out where you want to be um, short term long term and then just work towards those I always do short term and long term because short term goals help you keep going long term is the big picture so number two make a realistic plan so I make a realistic plan I mean like your goal let's say you're trying to lose 50 pounds <sighs> healthfully I don't feel like healthfully is a word what's the word I don't know but realistically you're not gonna lose 50 pounds in a month and if you do that seems really unhealthy and really unsafe so <laughs> I mean like realistically a good goal is like hey I want to lose 20 pounds in like three months, four months, five months, because honestly people lose weight different ways and I guess it really has to do with your diet, your exercise, like what you're doing and also just your natural body makeup. Setting a realistic plan is so, so important. Um, figuring out, you know, what you're going to eat and the diet that you're going to be on or the lifestyle changes that you're going to make make them realistic don't start off like oh i'm just going to cut out all of this all of these snacks and all of these like soda and sugary drinks and all this stuff and think that you're going to be able to stick through that with the five months or the six months or however long you're doing it because it's just not realistic you have to slowly wean yourself out of things so personally for my fitness what i started off doing this time around was I cut out Starbucks because girl I was drinking Starbucks like five six times a week I'm a really big juice person I never drink soda so basically I just cut out the juice cut out the Starbucks and I've just been trying to drink water which I'm still kind of working on because I hate just drinking anything I don't know why I just am not a fan so that's something realistic that I allowed myself to do was you know hey just cut out the Starbucks something easy and it does make a difference um, as far as like the gym and working out and stuff realistically tell yourself with your schedule can you work out this many times a week and stick with it so when I first started I was working out seven days a week no rest days and then I started to burn out really quickly so then I kind of moved to five so right now I'm in between five to six days um, and I feel like that's what works for me so number three hold yourself accountable I post everything on social media, okay? I talk too much. I like everybody to know my business. I am that person. So I feel like holding yourself accountable, like by me telling other people, hey, this is what I'm going to do. I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to do this. I post pictures every single day on my Snapchat. I'm like, girl, this is where I'm at. Like, you see in this, this tonage that's happening with me? Like, I'm just that person, okay? But I'm not saying that to hold yourself accountable, you have to post and you have to do all this stuff and you have to tell everybody. 
keep a record, keep a log. That's not one of my tips, but it is a way to hold yourself accountable. So I get lost in Target, as I'm sure most people do. And one day in the little Target dollar section, I found this big old desk calendar, and it was only $5 girl so I bought it I had no use for it I just bought it and <laughs> I didn't even know what I was gonna use it for um, and then I decided that I was gonna use it as my fitness calendar so we gonna go here to January when I started started like in the middle at the end of January and I started with what I what I weighed um, every little thing that I did every single day so like um, I got goodies to make breakfast shakes on January 22nd. Just like little stuff like that. Like, I went to my first yoga class. Like, just stuff that benefits, like, my fitness. <laughs> stuff like that. Just ways to kind of see where, how far you've come and kind of to just keep yourself on track. Number four. Do your research. So, like I said in the beginning, I've always kind of been... I've always kind of been a fluctuator when it comes to my weight, um, so growing up I have realized what things are making me gain weight and ways to lose weight for myself quicker and how to manage and maintain my weight. Um, so I knew that I don't have a problem just starting to work out again, but running is not the case for everyone, and also I hate running. So when I did my research, I was looking up different workouts to try. I was looking up, looking up different foods, and um, these are all things that I could manage. I'm not gonna go out and start this huge vegan, gluten-free diet, all this stuff, because I am a broke college student. I got no money for that. You think I'm gonna tell my parents, hey, by the way, I'm going vegan and gluten-free, so you need to start buying all these vegan and gluten-free groceries? So you just need to do research and figure out what's in your budget, what is like fits your time, what fits your body. If you've never lifted a day in your life, obviously you're not gonna go start doing 400 pound deadlifts and running 800 miles a day like it's just not possible you gotta know what you're looking for you gotta know how to implement it in your life and you gotta know how to manage it okay and my last tip be patient okay it's April right now I started at the end of January so it's only been like barely four months barely it's the middle of April so it's probably been three months exactly and it's hard this is hard the first month I decided that I was gonna weigh myself the one day the first day that I started which was the worst day of my life I feel like I was just so shook that's a whole nother video and then I wasn't gonna weigh myself again for a whole nother month so that whole month, I was working, I was doing my thing, changed my whole diet, was working out every single day, and then when a month came, I lost three pounds. I was shook. I was shook. I was, all this work that I've been putting in and I'm only going to lose three pounds? And then a week after that, I plateaued. I lost all my drive. I was like, screw this, I'm not doing all this crap for three pounds three pounds and I fell off for a whole week I gave myself one week to be sorry for myself and then I got back on it started doing it again and then I, after that is when I noticed the pounds were coming off I was being consistent I was being patient and I was being real and true to what I was able to do and at that point for the month that the first month that I did it that's when I switched from working out seven days a week to working out five days a week because it was more realistic for me so those are all of the tips that I have for you um, like I said they're all really really simple easy things to implement into your everyday life um, they need to be tailored to you so if you have any questions on how to start doing things like that highly recommend you look it up <laughs> And that sounds really bogus, but like, talk to your doctor, talk to a trained professional, or do your own research and figure out how to get started and what's going to work for you, because I'm not a dietitian. I'm just telling you ways to just get the ball rolling. Okay? You feel what I'm saying? So if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, I don't know why you're even here. Go ahead and subscribe, comment, 
share it, tell your friends that I'm back on YouTube. Bye. Why can't I do this? It's a paradise and it's a war zone